During the movement control order, the Malaysian Red Crescent has been given sole responsibility to feed the homeless of Johor Bahru. And they're doing it here at Kemwawa Sangunung Pulai. My name is Muhammad Daniel Haikai bin Muhammad Sefuddin. I'm volunteer from Bulan Sabit Merah Malaysia. For, for now, we are here to do uh, to making food, packing food for the homeless uh, that uh, came from Johor Bahru. And then we just uh, keep safe for them, for their safety inside here. My name is Muhammad Rashidi Bumat Noor. I'm now the deputy chairman for the uh, Red Crescent Community Services National. And I'm here leading the uh, homeless in Johor Bahru. When they came here, we also engaged the agencies of government to uh, screen them. Every agency that is involved, for example, the welfare department, the health department, and the anti-drug agency also came. Some, some of them are also taken up by the other agencies to be housed in different places. The Red Crescent has been entrusted with uh, feeding them. The operation of the, uh, the food is all done by our volunteers, which we engage from districts in Johor, either from Keluang, Pontian, Johor Bahru, and also Kota Tinggi, and they came in to rotation. Activities in the camp are coordinated here. The camp is currently looking after 191 people. We have 88, Chinese we have 58, India we have 29, and others 16. Now uh, we are in uh, our Dapur Medan. For this side, we just uh, preparing the food for the homeless. So you can see, right there, we are preparing for the uh, lunch for this today for the non-Muslim people. I think we have to thank all of them because they've been doing their work voluntarily and been staying here, staying away from the home and away from what they are doing. And apart from that, we are also receiving assistance from donations from other members of the public, also from other institutions or for NGOs who also donated. Uh, dry foods for here for us to uh, to cook for the inmates. In, in one of the meetings, they decided also to form a special committee to think what will happen after the MCO has been lifted. So, in fact, the the committee was more on uh, trying to house them temporarily. So, uh, I hope after this COVID-19 end, uh, those homeless will be uh, get a good job and. Uh, I get a healthier uh, life after this. <laughs>